Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. It has been quite the week for me. Uh, and it's been about a week since I have been on the Hermitcraft server. I've been away on uh, active duty military orders, luckily. This weekend is Labor Day in the U.S., so there's a four-day weekend, so uh, I'm back at it. Uh, back at the YouTube thing for my four-day vacation, which isn't really a vacation because YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but I'm back, and I'm glad to be back. So, Hermitcraft videos this last week uh, were a little light, and that is to say there were there really weren't any. Um, it's just because I was I was away doing military things. I didn't. I, I tried to pre-record some, but I just I I just ran out of time before uh, I had to leave. So, uh, no big deal. Uh, we're back, and today I want to work a little bit on our shop. So a couple shops have actually already gone up. I want to fly around real quick and look at those uh, and show those to you. Um, over here, Exuma has built a storage store. Uh, where you can buy storage systems, presumably. Very cool. Uh, I don't know what this redstone is supposed to do, but it looks complicated and technical, and I'll just assume that it's amazing. <laughs> and then uh, Cubfan has built over here the Splash of Color, where you can uh, buy color. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, pistony color magic. Okay, so splash of color service orders. This was Cub Fan. Uh, let's see. Welcome to Cub Splash of Color Service, cranking out colors since 2017. This service is a building service that focuses on the use of colors to beautifully enhance builds. Upon request, I will visit your build and add some tasteful, subtle, or vibrant colors to it, which should enhance the build. Minecraft 1.12 is the world of color update, so there's never been a better time. Use the books to request, be sure to include what build you would like colorified, and if you'd like to collab or leave the project to me, stay vibrant. Okay, so Cub is selling color. Very cool. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't think there are any other shops. I didn't see any more. I did, a, I did like, a, a quick fly around. So if I did miss any, um, you know, it, it's certainly possible I did. I did, uh, with me being gone, I didn't really have a chance to stay on top of Hermitcraft videos too much this week. Um, but anyway, our shop, we are going to build a build shop, the, the build shop, right? Because I, I'm a builder, I build things, I'm going to build a shop. And today I want to build pretty much the front facade is, is what I want to focus on. I don't want to focus too much on the interior. In fact, I don't know that I'm even going to dig out the interior, but I want to focus on getting a front facade here. Uh, that's going to look good and draw people in uh, to, you know, give me business. That's that's the idea. So I think what we should do is kind of start out. There's a hole in my ground. Okay. Um. Aha. I brought some materials with me, obviously. Let's just put that in there. There we go. Just patch the hole. Otherwise, I'm bound to fall, fall into it at least once <laughs> over the course of this video. Uh, so let's find our center point. I'd say that's right about here. And let's just do that, right? Just to, just to show this is a door. This will be our doorway. Uh, and that looks to be about centered where we want it. I think I want to get rid of this tall grass right there. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, so block palette is basically going to be the same as what you see around this area. We've got... Some cobble, we've got uh, some various types of wood, stone, andesite, some light gray concrete powder and gravel, different things that I thought we might use. I also grabbed some iron bars and some fences and trap doors and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I wanted to bring them with me just in case because I think it's certainly better to have them and then not use them than it is to want them and have to run back to my base to go get them. So let's start out with just a little bit of like a... Uh, Something like that, maybe. Or, uh, actually, let's bring that up to about here. Oh, we still got four. We, we still have haste in here. Okay, that's fine. We'll do something along those lines. And then maybe some cobble right here. 
something like that for our doorway. That's kind of the the initial entrance, right? Uh, now, we want to decorate this out and make this look a lot. Uh, we want this to look fancy. So I'm thinking we're going to want some windows. Maybe like so. So like, uh, what is that, five high? And then we'll go break this guy out. And like that, right? So a couple of windows kind of set into this area. I'm probably going to end up modifying some of this terrain a little bit. We'll maybe go... Um... Maybe like that. And then like here. Yeah, I think that seems a little bit better. As far as the build goes. And then we're going to plan for this to be some sort of a window. So let's just, uh, for now, let's just fill this in with some iron bars. Eventually I'm going to have glass panes in here, but I don't know yet what type of glass I want to use. So let's just stick with this for now. Um, and then we want some sort of a roof on there for sure, like a, like an overhang. And we want something up top as well. So let's see, maybe we'll go, let's grab some dark oak. Um, and I just realized, I don't think I actually have a crafting bench over here at all. Let's fix that real quick. Toss that uh, right here is fine. So let's just make a couple dark oak things, right? We'll make some stairs, we'll make some slabs. And then I need some stone just to use as scaffolding. And as far as our roof goes, I think... Hmm... The other question, uh, the other thing we, we should consider, right, is how we want to kind of detail this out. And there's a few things we could do. We could do something like that, which which looks okay. Um, that's not bad, but I'm not super in love with it either. Maybe we'll have our roof kind of overhang right here instead. That might look a little bit better and i'm thinking our roof oh those were the, the, hmm. i did not mean to make <laughs> i did not need to mean need me to make 60 buttons um let's maybe try ooh, something like that and then we'll kind of bring that out a little bit over here That'll give us a little color. I'm not a huge fan of the way that looks, though. Hmm. I think... Decisions, decisions. Let's try putting these back. I Actually, you know what it needs? I know it. I know it needs to happen. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta raise this up. That's, that's what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we raise this up a level. So I'm just going to put uh, those right here for now. And then we'll do something along those lines. And then we'll have stairs that lead up there. And then we'll bring this over like so. Yeah, that's a million times better, right? And we'll do something, you know, something cool with this, of course. We'll do, like, uh, uh, maybe instead of these, we'll take uh, cobblestone stairs and put those upside down like so. And maybe we put a, a torch here and here or, or whatever. We'll, we'll figure that those kind of finer details out later. But the big thing is we need to, we need to sort out the roof and then we need to get a sign above it. So let me do a little bit of work there, kind of figuring out the, the way I want the roof shaped and all that kind of good stuff. Let me get some work done and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I've been doing some work. I think I've got the roof shape kind of marked out and I want to 
put the sign up here, and I think I kind of want to, like, hang a sign from the ceiling. <laughs> I think this could actually look really cool. Um, so what I'm thinking is maybe we do it on an oak background? Let's just see. It, it, let's take a little bit of oak. And let's just put that, like, up above? Uh, or uh, let's just try it out, like, right here. Um, this would be very contrasty, but that's okay. That could work. The other option would be to do it on a spruce background, but I think, I, I think oak is the way to go. I, th I think that's what we'll do. Um, so we're going to need a fairly large space for this. I think it's like 22. 5 by 22 <laughs> in order to center this. Um, and we want it to be all above the roof. So right here, let's go out like one more. And let's say like right about here. Right? So the roof there. Hmm, that's... Probably not going to be enough space. I mean, I suppose we could start it like right... Or actually, no. It doesn't need to be five. We could do it three. I'm just trying to think here. So let's see. Where is... This is our center point right there. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11. That's going to go all the way out there. Wow. That's quite the distance. That's okay, though. That's fine. I don't mind it going out a little ways. Can we break that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. And then... I made, like, a little thingy over here. So, from this one, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Maybe. Do we have the space over here? We really don't. But we can modify this little chunk here just a tiny bit to make it fit. Right? So, right here. This would kind of come out, and then we'll maybe end up putting the, uh, we'll maybe end up putting the, the stone back, so it kind of, like, wraps over the sign. That could be kind of cool. Um, but what we are going to need is a fair amount of oak slabs. And the reason I say that is because we're going to want slabs on the bottom. Ooh. Like, so, and coming over there as well, and then we're going to want slabs on top, although we're going to want to build this up a bit too. Um, let's do something like that. Oh, nope, not quite. Almost made it. Didn't quite make it. But we want this this whole sign to basically be like, four blocks high including slabs we want we want essentially three slabs right or three uh three high but then with um like another layer of slabs on top is essentially what we're going for here and what that's going to allow us to do is put letters on this that are three high and still have it be surrounded by some sort of like a background so i think that'll look good uh i'll just kind of come over here uh went a little bit too far because i can't reach these now come back you there we go we'll go like so and then here and there Beautiful. So now we have this big giant sign 
up above. And on that, we're gonna put letters, and those letters will say a thing. Okay, so, sorting out the letters. Let's do this. Let's put this stuff away. Um, I shouldn't need any more oak than that. That should be fine. So let's go up. Yeah, about here, I think. That ought to do. And we'll just kind of start going and making like a little scaffolding across. I think that should allow us to get all the letters where we want them. Yep, good. And then we get to try and do the letters. And this is where it's going to be a little tricky. So we'll go here. Um, I need slabs and stairs. There we go. So there, I think we'll make that one a stair. And then we'll go like that and right there. So there's a B. And then this will be a U. The U will be fairly easy. We'll go I, L, D, and then S. And S is kind of tricky to fit into this space, but I think we can do it like so. There we go. So something like that. Let's just get rid of our scaffolding over here so we can see. And then we'll want to light it up as well, but we'll get to that in a little bit. There we go. What do we think of that? I mean, you notice it. You definitely notice it. Um... It looks a little wacky, though. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Uh, here's what we could maybe do. Maybe we go... Grab ourselves some oak logs. And maybe... It would look better... Oh, but the thing is... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Because we could... Like, potentially bring that across. But I feel like that's not going to look very good. Let's just try it on, like, half of this. And just see what we think. Eh... Yeah, I can't say I'm a huge fan. Well, actually, you know what? It might be okay. That might look all right. I don't know. Like, it's it's hard to decide. Um, I think it would look good if we did this on both the top and the bottom. Let's kind of scaffold our way over here. Go like... So, ooh, but that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because it's going to run right into that. <laughs> um, hmm. That might be okay. Right? And then here we would kind of go up like, well, I should probably go up right here if I'm really thinking about this I would go up right there and then come back over along here so we're just gonna kind of keep pillaring our way over this is, is all this scaffolding is obviously gonna go away so I know it looks terrible don't worry is only temporary my friends it's only temporary okay so we do something like that we bring these logs across like so. Ooh. Break that out. 
Another log here and here. Ooh, that one got derped up. And there we go. Okay. And then as for lighting, we could put... Uh, for now? Well, and actually... On this side, did I have an extra space? I did. Although, what we could do... Here. We'll fix... We, we can fix this problem right here. Instead of having the sign come all the way across... We'll have it just come right here. And then it can kind of stick out. And on this side... Same thing. Have it kind of stick out. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that because that one wasn't there before. We'll bring all the scaffolding away so we can take a proper look at this now. And see what we think. There we go. We will need to light it up, but that's okay. Uh, let's get rid of these. As this scaffolding here is... Also not supposed to be there. That's temporarily as, that's temporary as well. What do we think of that? Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. Uh, we obviously need to stick something on the bottom. And then we need to do something about this, but that would be easy enough. For this back oh for this back part, we could just uh pretty easily add another log or another line of logs like back here right Ooh. like so and that should fix the way that it looks from down here I think and then we'll probably break like here We'll break that out. Come on. Break that out. Bring that down. And then make these. That one go there. That one go there. So something along these lines. And you would become like so. You'd never see the stuff back there, so that's fine. We could throw a torch... You know, a couple torches up back here, because this is all invisible. That's really just there to kind of prevent mobs from spawning. And that actually looks pretty good, honestly, as a sign. Like, I'm, I'm mostly happy with that. The only downside is that it needs to be lit up, because right now you can't see what it says. So, I think maybe what we'll do... Maybe we'll go, like, um... Hmm... Here, here... There, there... Maybe that'll work. If we just kind of... Pop a log right there... Oh, there's a little bit of oak hiding back there. Easy, easy enough. No big deal. Pop a log right there... Pop a log right there. One right here. And then one... Right there. Try something like that, right? And then on top of those... I wish we could reach them from right here, but... Uh, but we can't. But that's okay. On top of... On each of those... We can just put a torch... And a torch. And maybe that'll solve our... Our lighting problem. Right? We'll just... Light. Light. And then finally... Ooh. Nope. <laughs> Not gonna reach from there, am I? Light. Light. There we go. Let's see what we think of that now. Yeah, that uh, I think that works. Like it fits. It looks okay. It's a big giant sign. 
Um, now, the thing is, this is a bit farther forward than I had originally intended. So maybe what we want to do is we may want to bring the building forward then as well to kind of match. And I think that looks better too. We want to, we may want to bring this whole structure forward a bit. So it would come out to like about here. I kind of like the fact that it's like recessed into this pillar, but at the same time, hmm. Do we want to bring this forward or do we want to leave it the way it is? This, this is a start, obviously. This isn't uh, the whole idea. But this is a start. So, you know what? Here's what I think we'll do. I can always use ideas and advice and all that kind of stuff. So, I think I'm going to leave it right here. There's a good look at it. If you want to kind of get some ideas. Uh, the sign on top including these end bits is 22 blocks. So that gives you kind of an idea of the dimensions. Um, and then this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're basically working with like an eight by 22 space. So send me your ideas on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. I'd love to see them. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. We're going to put a sign up that says, Wells Knight's... Uh, actually, let's do it on the... We're gonna need more space. Wells Knights Build Company Under Construction. So, the sign will not ultimately go there, but we'll put that there. This is a good start on it. I'm happy with it. I think, uh, I think we're, we're getting things done. So send me your ideas. I'd love to see them. Uh, I'm going to record some more Hermitcraft tomorrow for the upcoming week because I will still be on military orders. But uh, but this video is actually going out um, about 10 hours after I'm done recording it. So I will see your ideas that you send me before I record the next one. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.